All right, guys, welcome back, uh, not to my office, to another model car review uh, with Tobias, hey who guys. texted me yesterday, let's film a model car video, and yeah, sure, here I am. <laughs> <laughs> but you've done some special, very special stuff, I think that's a great conversion, which we are going to show you now, so right. what did you do? So basically we have uh, two 901 uh, Turbo S models, um, initially both look the same. This was the yellow one here, the base version, yeah. Right, so initially this one was looking exactly like the yellow one. And then uh, I got a request uh, to modify the model according to the WEC safety car. Yeah. I think from 2019, if I remember correctly, uh, which was Could the year. Be. Or 2018. Yeah. And uh, yeah, then we started the progress basically. So um, we had to source a second turbo model because as you can see, we have a different set of rims. Oh yes, exactly. Uh, which was actually coming from a GT Spirit uh, 901 turbo model. From the Great Britain version with the right-hand drive. Yeah, right? exactly. exactly. Yeah. So basically we had to get two turbo models uh, to make one out of it and then some, of course, let's say extra parts and bits and yeah. pieces like the light bar. Uh, honestly, I don't even know which model it, it initially <laughs> came from. You found a light bar. Yeah. Let's say it like this. <laughs> yeah, somewhere in the spare parts <laughs> room over there, I found a light bar, right? Which was then also modified. Um, but in the end, let's say, of course, we had to also make all the decals, the livery. And I think the, the most uh, challenging part of this build was for sure the, the paint shop itself. Hmm. And here I had the great help from Stefan. Basically, we have a two-tone livery here. As you can see, on the one side we have black, on the other side we have red. But even beyond that, one is flat and the other one is glossy. Yeah. So basically, uh, of course, after disassembling everything, uh, we had to paint the car first of all black. Then everything was masked and taped in order to paint, the, let's say, the second color, the red color. Which is actually impressive. So it's not a sticker, it's actually painted on it, which uh, a sticker would have worked as well. Like, this is like, yeah, properly done, not right now. Because yeah. I, when I think about like, how should, would, you, would we do a model car like this, like a sticker would be totally fine. Yeah. Uh, like with the race cars. Uh, actually, it's like the, the original would have been a sticker, right? Uh, ah, yeah. Uh, because it's the, better than the real one. The, the full <laughs> car originally was wrapped uh, and then also put stickers on, uh, but there were some bits and sections where the sticker would be hard to apply, like on the on the engine mm. bay over there. And of course, um, the sticker would be relatively thick. Uh, yeah. So overall, this solution was way better, um, but we had to figure out how to do it. So after both colors were painted, all the decals have been applied. They were also drawn and created uh, by myself. Oh, wow. And uh, then everything was put on the clear coat to protect the decals. Mm -hmm. Before then, the full car was masked again, because then you have to put a glossy clear coat and a flat clear coat. So one time you paint the full car, then everything was glossy. Then you're just masking the red bits and pieces and then you put a flat clear coat above that to have the, <laughs> the black color flat again. And then let's say demasking the red uh, bits and sections. So basically the full car was glossy at one mm. stage and now only the red sections remain glossy. That's pretty crazy. Yeah, because you only have like one try. Yeah. Yeah. Otherwise you can start from the beginning again. <laughs> yeah. That's yeah. pretty crazy. Yeah. Um, Porsche did uh, the 143 scale version back in the day and right. there always was some requests for a 1 to 18 scale version but really wasn't like worth it to do because like 911 pieces for a 118 scale would have been a bit too many right. um, especially when the yellow one was already available but yeah like this is pretty cool and pretty special I have to say and it is going uh, to Belgium right? Yeah it's going to a Belgium uh, customer um, we had to wait uh, quite a bit, uh, but I think and I hope that once he has the car, it, uh, the weight, uh, the weight was worth it. Uh? Yeah. So uh, I hope he will enjoy the model, but I'm I'm quite sure. Yes, yeah, that's, that's pretty cool. Yeah. So thank you very much. I think that is a really cool build. And uh, let us know what you think of this video format. If we should do it again and show more of uh, Tobias projects, I think because I'm right now I'm quite busy here and I'm quite often here so it's very easy for me to stop by and then we can show some of your other you know, even more exhaustive projects let's say it like that. We, we have some around here which you guys <laughs> cannot see currently but I think there is one or the other uh, possibility for a video so if you guys like it 
let us know in the comment section and then yeah. we can make another video. Yeah, let's do that. Drop a like if you like this short video and subscribe for more videos to come. That's it for now. Alla, ciao!